Well, NASCAR did something right for once. I'm amazed just as you. Just the schedule came out. Honestly, it's a great schedule. To all the people crying about Homestead being moved, let's be honest, Homestead is a really boring race. If it didn't have championship implication, it'd be worse than Kansas. Like, let's be honest with that. NASCAR did the right move. But ISM, even though the dog leg basically cuts half of what Phoenix used to be, it's still a better race, especially in that time slot than Homestead would be. Martinsville at night, love that. Sectors on Mother's Day weekend, love that. I love that we're moving the West Coast swing up. Love it. We move down Atlanta where the track can actually get warmer temperatures. That way cars are slipping and sliding. You can have better racing. That's a great move. The one move that is a Brian France move on this schedule is two dates to Pocono. I'm going to Pocono. It is the worst track to ever watch a race at. No action. You can barely see what the hell's going on unless you're in the infield. Or you're sitting really, really, really high up. It's a bleep they even commute to. Like, honestly. And we're doing two two cup races in two days there? I hope Pocono's giving out free pillows. Free pillows, memory foam beds. You know, that way you could go to sleep after there's absolutely nothing happens. You get three passes for the lead all day. And yes, I know Martinsville this week had three passes for the freaking lead, but you knew there was always drama. You knew that Chase Delight was in the mirror. You knew Kyle Busch was there. You knew Blaney was there. But we give two races back to back to the worst track in NASCAR? Really? Like, if they just didn't do that, it would have been perfect. It would have been perfect. But no. No. O'Donnell can do two steps forward and one steps back. We didn't need Pocono as a doubleheader. We didn't. You want to know what a doubleheader is? How about we go to Mid-Ohio? We do two races in two days where the drivers don't know the track and everybody's trying to learn. And you can get your drama. That way, you cannot be bored. Race, watching a race at Pocono is boring. It's boring. The only thing that place got good is fan interaction. Other than that, like, it's horrible. It's horrible. Even IndyCar, when they're not crashing all over the damn place, their shows are boring there. It's a boring racetrack. Them in New Hampshire are the worst tracks in NASCAR. But even New Hampshire, if you move it down lower in the schedule, it provides good racing. Look at the 2001 race. Look at what happened last year with Harvick and Bush. If it wasn't for that, that was a boring race. Honestly, NASCAR, 8 out of 10 for what they did today. Props. Absolute props. Man, can I find that angle that way I can actually do this clapping? Oh, here we go. 8 out of 10, NASCAR. 8 out of 10.